Welcome back guys to another video and in this video we're gonna go back to scrap mechanic so it's been a long time since I played this game again and it kind of brings back memories um one of the first videos I made on my channel was I think it was like how to like make an elevator or something like that and it did really terrible <laughs> but it's just so cool I wanted to play something different instead of GTA 5 and yeah this is actually really cool now I did play a little bit of it before I made this video because I didn't want to look retarded trying to get all the the stuff or me trying to replay this game again. Now what this video is is I made something like I can't remember. It took me three months to make and it was a it was I was recreating the Apollo 11 spaceship. Like I said, this thing took three months. Okay, so um I actually have to make a new game because apparently my my past um save games won't let me in because of the the mods are like expired or something i don't know so flat let me go and select all of this and i'll just do uh i'll just do legit oh crap there we go now i do have the flat world and you put yeah you put this down and it's right here this is it now let me go and put this thing oh okay well this thing's about to lag out for a minute because Yep. Okay. Here it is. The Apollo 11. The um the bridges on here actually collapse down. That way you can actually fly without it hitting the side of this the bridges. And let me also tell you, this right here, these wheels actually move. This whole thing moves. Let me go ahead and demonstrate real quick. So the uh, beginning part is right here. As you can see, there is stairs that can lead you up to here. And you know what's funny about this thing is I put this on the Steam Workshop. And currently it's got like 1,100 subscribers. That's more than my whole channel, okay? That kind of upsets me, but also it's kind of cool. Now if you want to uh, put this on, if you want to have this in the game, then I'll leave a link to the uh, Steam Workshop for it. And also, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Now, um, to take this out, you press this button here. And it just the uh, stairs up and then this is the inside of it I didn't put much decoration into it because I didn't really see a point in doing that because this this is not the point of the whole thing now let me show you yep this thing does move okay so yeah this thing is movable this is one of the the little stuff that actually makes a pretty cool and big difference now leaving the seat though it Never mind. Usually it does glitch a little bit and you get stuck. So if you do get stuck, just press this seat and then leave it and then you'll be all set. Now let's go ahead and leave here. If you want to leave, just press the button. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> just press the button. And the second part is going up these steps. Now, for... Okay, never mind. They're just for looks. Now for this, I did make an elevator. This is an out-of-date elevator. Okay, I don't know what they did ever since the update, but apparently people have been disliking the elevator because it's out of date. But I mean, if you look at the year I made it, it's not out of date, okay? But anyway, uh, to close the door, just press this one. Close that door here. And then you press 2 and it takes you up. <laughs> now, it is a little bumpy. J just a little bit, it's not that bad. And then press this one and it'll open this door into the bridge. Um, you kind of have to pray. Maybe you won't fall in. And right when you enter it, it greets you to a... You are not... Wow. Okay, dang. Was I selfish or something? Oh, shoot. But yeah, you get greeted to this. Now, I was trying to make this as lightweight as possible because it's kind of hard to move this whole thing with thrusters. So I created seats to bounce back and forth instead of using actual stairs. And then all you got to do is press it. You press E and you just keep doing this really now let's go ahead and go into the first floor here this is like the bedroom it's got a bunch of beds just four it looks pretty nice I don't know what this says I don't know what it says I could care less okay now this is actually a button to retract the bridges but I have it set so when I go in the seat it'll actually just retract if I press a couple buttons let me show you look at all the work I did into that little seat because of how much I was trying to put into this little thing it is really cool and I'm really proud of this creation even though it was such a long time ago 
But anyway, this is the first floor here. Uh, go ahead and leave. And then I think I'm at the second floor now. The second floor is basically the restroom. It's got the toilet here, bathtubs, and then that's the second uh, entryway for the bridge. Now going up to the third floor here. I don't think I did much here. Um, uh, apparently I made like a a cultist seats, like ring around the rosy kind of thing. I don't even know. But here is uh, the other bridge, of course. And then the final floor, which is where you actually... S no, never mind. No, you don't. Okay, well, this is basically just another bridge, even though this thing's kind of hanging down a little bit. And you come up here, and here is the final room. Um, as you can see, I added a little bit of thrusters. I don't know what this is for. Okay. Okay, now. Now this is the final room. It's just got... It's got a seat here, a uh, passenger seat, and then two buttons, which I don't know what they do, and I'm kind of scared to use. Actually, you know what? Oh, okay, that opens the thrusters. Is that connected to the seat? Okay, it is. Uh, now, if you want to leave, press 2. It closes all of the bridges. Yep, it closes every single bridge here, as you can see. And you press 1, and it should lift off. Why, why is it not lifting? Why is it not lifting up? So I realize why it's not flying now. In order to get it to fly, I had to redo it because of the elevator. If you want it to fly, you need to take this block off. It's kind of it was it's what separates this and the whole spaceship. Now there will be a bit of lag, and I'm sorry for this, but maybe it won't lag. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely lagging. If you don't want this lag at all. Just um take you just move this thing. And move it right here and then then you won't be as laggy okay so then you just break a hole in here oh gotta add two more nope you gotta add a hole my thick self over here trying to get in here this is the whole thing now I know you're like oh well you didn't really do much with the inside I was trying to make it as lightweight as possible because I didn't want it because there's two key factors with flying a how much power you add to a fly the thing and B you need to make it stable because if you add a little bit of weight to the left side it likes to go that way so I was trying to make it really stable and there's a bunch of little blocks here that are missing and I'm not sure why it may have just been little mistakes I made but yeah look at that look how cool that is now that will be it for this video I really hope you like it and again I will leave a link to this creation all right well I die if I jump I don't know I haven't played this in a while Okay, oh, I didn't die. Okay. So that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, then go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. I might do more scrap mechanic videos. I really don't know yet. It just depends on how well it does. And yeah, again, if you want to have this, I'll leave a link to the um, creation in the Steam Workshop. And with that being said, I will see you guys later.